Before we get into this video, I want to remind you we have a giveaway going on right now for a Tears of the Kingdom Special Edition Nintendo Switch OLED, a Collector's Edition of Tears of the Kingdom, as well as a pin from PAX East. If you would like to enter, head down to the pin comment or in the description. We will be announcing the winners on May 12th, and we're now on our road to 133,000 subscribers to match 133 years of Nintendo's existence. So I would appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel, and let's get into the video. All right, guys, look, this is not a drill. We have brand new footage, brand spanking new footage dropped by Nintendo of Japan. This is not a joke. We are not kidding. This isn't something ripped off of the Japanese website that maybe some of you guys saw a couple weeks ago and I just missed it. This is brand spanking new and it comes in the form of a commercial that splices together some old with some new and we're gonna watch it through. In fact, here you go, let's just play it for you guys. And then after we're this is done rolling, we're gonna sit here and start to slow this down a bit and start to slowly examine some of this new footage and see what we can find. I think we're gonna see some extremely interesting stuff. Now, as we get into uh, looking at some of the new here, uh, one thing that's very, very, very obvious is that Nintendo's, you know, pushing the commercial here. I, I think the first real new scene is is seeing Zelda do the full turn holding the Master Sword. And one thing we will notice, because we hadn't known at this point if Zelda was holding the broken Master Sword, is if you pause it at just the right frame, you can see some of the damage on the sword. So Zelda is holding, confirmed, the broken Master Sword uh, that we have seen Link with in other trailers. So that is something we now have confirmed through this footage. Uh, we also get to see this really cool scene where Link jumps off of that owl bird glider thing. He gets up off the middle of it, runs off the side, and jumps off. That is definitely something brand new we haven't seen yet. Also, if we just pause before he jumps off here and we look at the whole scene, there's some cool stuff that you can see. Uh, we get another look at the top of one of those towers, which it looks like it has a circular thing. So maybe we go up and down the towers. There's been speculation those towers might be access to underground areas. I don't know if that's the case and if this confirms anything, uh, but it definitely is interesting to say the least. We also are overlooking essentially the it, right above link to the left, the Great Plateau. And you can see really from here, the Great Plateau... Uh, doesn't look massively different. We do see a, a couple of those uh, malice puddles or whatever they are that we haven't gotten close enough to to really determine anything. Uh, but it does look pretty interesting. I also can see the Temple of Time in the background, which doesn't look like it's fully rebuilt or anything like that. I was very curious if the Temple of Time was rebuilt, but it doesn't appear that it is. And uh, yeah, it, it, I mean, it just looks cool. It's a cool shot. Uh, the next new scene... We get because they actually jump to they actually end up doing this jump cut into uh, the old uh, footage we've already seen is out here in the desert and there's an in, some interesting stuff about this desert shot because this is all brand new we haven't seen this yet uh, we can see in the background all these dusts of smoke all these plumes of sand or whatever uh, that's obviously the sinkholes uh, right all the circular sinkholes. Uh, or something like that, or something's rising out of the sand. Could be either or, you know, we're not really stuck on the scene very long. But we are looking, overlooking the heroin statues, and I find it really interesting they included this shot in the marketing because there's a lot of theories around the tears and the heroines and a whole bunch of stuff there, so I don't know if this is teasing something or not. And then we see this glowing object on top of a tower or something in the background, but we aren't quite sure what that is. Next uh, is just a scene of Link climbing uh, that we've seen in a prior trailer. But then we see Link riding his horse. And this is a, just a classic scene from Breath of the Wild trailers. They did this a lot in Breath of the Wild commercials. Just Link riding his horse on the beach. Uh, but there's one part of this scene that I want to I stop for you guys. It happens at the end after we get a, um, a patch out here. And, and here it is. It's on the shot here with the commercial. And you can see the uh, green lines on the sand. Now... My first guess is that these green lines on the sand are actually one of those uh, image depictions we've seen on the ground many, many times. People have been calling them glyphs. We don't really have an official name for them yet, uh, but that does appear to be what that is. Maybe it's something else. I don't know because this is the closest shot we've seen. And even then, 
It's not that close to us because it's on a switch that's angled and a little bit in the background, but uh, it is new and it is interesting, and I'm really excited about uh, what we just saw right there. So this is where I need to throw this back out to you. We're going to play this uh, commercial on repeat uh, a few times for you guys so you can get your own good looks at this and pause things wherever you feel like pausing. And let me know if you find any other interesting details in here. Uh, we're going to start to get a lot of little uh, teases like this, I think, really from now until the game comes out. I don't know how many commercials Nintendo plans to make or Nintendo plans to release. And unlike the prior commercial that was leaked, this is one we can actually show you guys, show you guys, because it was officially released by Nintendo, not something they hadn't released yet. Uh, so don't worry, we're not going to get dinged for showing you this commercial. I know there's some people already thinking, man, can you even show us this? Yes, I can, because it's publicly available now. But um, it's, it looks cool, man. I'm so excited for Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, the funny thing is, I was live streaming a Breath of the Wild Eventide Master Mode run, and immediately when I started, this footage popped up and we had to stop the stream. So... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to do my best, guys, to stay on top of everything Tears of the Kingdom. I hope you guys appreciate it. And, yeah, I'm just going to sit back. And uh, now we're going to play the commercial here with the music and the, and the voice over here. Uh, a, a couple trips here, a couple times around, so you guys can hear it in all its glory. And then uh, that's going to be it. Thank you guys for being here. Catch you in the next video. <laughs> Kingdom. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Pink. I'm looking for. Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. 